I think the most important thing is, is if you see more than one tumor in a patient, don't assume it's metastatic disease and there aren't any options for that patient. Um, come at it from the idea that you're not sure, give the patient the benefit of the doubt. Uh, perhaps it's a multifocal adenocarcinoma where there are multifocal primary tumors that could be treated surgically for uh, a very good outcome. We know that if you do a good job with a PET scan ruling out systemic disease and mediastinal staging to rule out mediastinal nodal disease, then many times treating these multifocal tumors as independent cancers will give you an outcome that's similar to if the patient only had one cancer and, and you treated that correctly. Uh, so the main point is if you're an oncologist or a primary care doctor and you see a patient with multiple lesions in the lung, don't just write the patient out saying this is stage four disease, they're going to live you know, a limited period of time, there's nothing that you can do. Think of the fact that there are a good number of patients where if you treat those cancers independently and treat the aggressive ones aggressively, then you might be able to do really good things for that patient. And, and, and on the same line, you can do molecular analyses of those tumors. If they happen to be similar, you could treat them with a targeted agent directed at those molecular abnormalities. If they're dissimilar or discordant, then that tells you they are probably independent primaries and you would sort out the molecular nature of each of them. And if you get a recurrence, um, you might treat based on those lesions and see how that, that treats the recurrence. So in general, the short answer is be optimistic. Um, don't assume all multifocal lung lesions are stage four. Assume they might be early stage and there's something that can be done that'll be very helpful to that patient.